Hey guys, what's up? It's Moz here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to record your Mac screen, whether it's an iMac, a MacBook, a Mac desktop, even the trash can thing. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to record uh, your Mac screen uh, for free, essentially. I know Macs aren't that powerful, but I still feel like I should share it. So you might lag when you're recording gaming like Counter-Strike or just things like that. But if you're just doing normal recordings or Minecraft and stuff, I really don't think you're going to be lagging as much. So before I get started, I just want to say be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you aren't already, because I'm on the way to 10,000 subscribers and all help is appreciated. But other than that, let's get on with the video. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is click the description below and go to uh, more or whatever, and click on the first link which is actually going to be open broadcaster software. Once you click on that, you should arrive to a website sort of like the same one that I have right here. From here what you want to do is actually go ahead and click on get OBS studio or it might say get OBS uh, multi-platform or something like that and just click on OS X. It sh make sure you're updated onto the latest version of your software or of your MacBook. So all you have to do to do that is just click on the little Apple symbol over here and then go to App Store and then from there just go ahead and check for updates. But from here once you are updated and everything all you have to do is make sure on OS X, click on studio and then from there just click on download. It's going to open up a new tab and ask you where to download if that's where your browser is set to do. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop and I'll get back to you guys once it's done. Alright guys, so it does look like that the download has completed, so I'm just going to double click on the .dmg file. And it should uh, start opening up, it's just checking for viruses and all that good stuff. But from there, just double click on the package and it's going to open up kind of like an installer. From here, it's basically a pretty simple and straightforward method. Just click continue, continue, install, make sure you do have enough space on your hard drive. And from here, just type in your password and all that good stuff, and then it's just going to start writing the files and actually installing the program onto your computer. Once it's, once it's installed, you're going to see a pop-up like this, so you can just go ahead and click on close. You can close this, you can go ahead and put that into your trash can, and you can uh, even uh, un eject uh, the OBS Studio drive that shows up. From there, all you have to do is actually just click on your applications, and then go to uh, scroll all the way down until you see OBS. From there, just click on OBS, and uh, uh, all you have to do from here is just click on Agree. And uh, once you do that, it's going to actually open up OBS. So um, a lot of streamers and people use this. It is pretty CPU intensive, but if you're not really too sure what you're doing, don't worry about all that. Um, this is a pretty simple and straightforward method. But essentially, um, the first thing that you want to do is go to your settings. And there are actually a lot of like other settings for this. I'm just changing mine to dark because I like it darker. It's more friendly to my eyes. But there are a lot of settings to this app, so you can change the uh, output skill resolution, your canvas resolution. I can actually make a settings video on this if you guys would like. Um, it's a pretty, like, you have to go pretty in-depth with it. So I'll be fine to do that. You can change your frames per second. A lot of people do 60 frames these days. But essentially the main thing that I do want you guys to know is once you're in output, this is where your videos are going to get saved. So you can change it to wherever you want. I'm going to go ahead and change it to my desktop. And then from there, just click on open. And another thing you want to do 100%, change it from FLV to MP4. MP4 is way more friendly for everything. And honestly, people just complain if they don't understand FLV. So from here, what you want to do is just click on the plus button under the sources box. But make sure you actually have something in the scene box. So as you can see, I already have the scene thing. If you don't, then just click on the plus button and make a scene. You can name it whatever you want. So from there, what you want to do is click on the plus button in the sources box. And then what you want to do from there is click on display capture. Once you click on display capture, you can just leave everything the same and then click on OK. And from here, as you can see, your desktop is actually starting to show up. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on OK. And as you can see, that is my desktop in the little like preview. And I can also change the size of it and stuff like that, depending on how I actually want to look. I can actually mute my mic and all that good stuff as well. And uh, basically all you have to do is click on start streaming, or start recording, and it's going to actually record a file. And then once you're done, just reopen it and click stop recording. So this is pretty CPU intensive, so chances are it's not going to really work on older MacBooks as well as it would on newer ones or older Macs. But I hope the video helped you guys nonetheless. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please be sure to comment them down below. 
And uh, yeah, also let me know if you guys do want me to make a settings video. I do know the best settings possible for Mac, so if you guys are interested, just let me know. This video wasn't really for that, this is just to teach you guys how to actually record your screen. So essentially, as I said before, just click on start recording, and once you're done with your video, all you have to do is click on stop recording. Now that I've actually finished, my video has shown up over here. I'm just going to close out of uh, OBS because it is pretty CPU intensive, as I said before. But I can just quickly uh, preview this. As you can see, it did record in uh, whatever 1080p or whatever I had it set to do. And I think it was like 30 frames per second. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit that like button, share the video with your friends, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you aren't already. Because I'm on the way to 10,000 subscribers and all hope is appreciated. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. And also, I can't say this enough, be sure to comment below if you have any questions or comments because I'm going to do my best to help you guys out. Uh, I know it can be pretty stressful if you can't get your recordings to work right and stuff like that. But as I said before, other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.